Hi everyone. On June 26th, the Holy Orthodox Church commemorates the memory of the new martyr David of St. Anna Skeet on Mount Athos. Now David was born in Kidonia, uh, near the island of Lesbos, and from an early age went to Mount Athos in order to try and establish himself as a God-fearing monk. He had a friend there who happened to be the elder of that skeet. Now after a period of time, David decided that he wanted to endure martyrdom. No easy feat to do, even in those days of Turkish domination. But he was set on his course and eventually went to a certain island where he got into an argument with some Muslims. Well, the Muslims beat him about the head, but it didn't kill him. So after this, David returned to his elder and expressed his desire to continue on and even sought the advice of a hierarch in the area who said that this was a godly ideal and blessed him to do it. So David at that point ended up heading uh, quite a, a ways away to Thessaloniki. Now in Thessaloniki, we actually have to pause his story for a second and bring in another character here because he will end up interacting with St. David. Now, there was another particular monk from one of the dependencies of the monastery of Vatupedi on Mount Athos who had taken the schema. Unfortunately, this monk, being very prideful and vainglorious, fell to the witness of demons who were tormenting him and encouraging him at the same time saying, well, what you should do, you should forget about all of this monastic stuff and you should embrace Islam, the religion of Muhammad. Now this monk was very intrigued by the idea and the other brothers of the monastery knew that he was being tempted so, so they tried to shut him up and lock him away, hopefully, hoping that somehow he would overcome this and come to his senses. Well, the monk didn't. He found his way out a window, a small window, it was some height from the ground, yet when he dropped down, he remained unhurt. And so he also headed towards Thessaloniki. Now, as he was on his way, he saw a Turk who was slumbering under a tree with his horse tied up. Well, this monk untied the horse and galloped away onto the gates of Thessaloniki. When the Muslims there saw him coming, they stopped him and asked what he wanted, and he said, I am a Christian monk from Mount Athos, and what I desire to do is to embrace your religion. They were overjoyed by this, thought it was wonderful, and said, well, where did you get the horse from? And he said, well, Muhammad gave it to me. Well, they were excited about this, and then the monk offered to sell it to them for 30 coins, and the Muslims said, sure will take it. Well, in the meanwhile, the man who had had the horse stolen from him arrived in Thessaloniki. He then found the monk that had stolen the horse from him and accused him of being a thief. Well, this caused all sorts of great commotion at the time. And so the Muslims put the wayward monk away until they could find out exactly what had happened but still very glad that he had decided to convert to Islam. This made the entire Muslim population of the area very happy. Well, about that time, arriving at about that time, was St. David. Now, St. David was very distressed when he had heard about the monk from Vatopedi who had decided to apostatize from the faith. And so he felt that it was his duty as a Christian brother, to go to the man and try and convince him otherwise and to bring him back to his senses. So he did this. He was able to get to the jail where they were holding the man and was able to get in, amazingly, to see him. But some of the other guards there overheard what St. David was saying to the man, and they became incensed. So they brought him out, took him to the local tribunal where they accused him 
of trying to stop this man from converting to Islam. St. David was found guilty. The guards took him out, and that very night they hung him. This was in the year 1813. Unfortunately, the wayward monk did not repent. He went on, married a Muslim woman, and lived the rest of whatever days God had given him. But St. David, happily for him, was able to achieve, albeit perhaps unwittingly, his original desire of martyrdom. His witness did not go unnoticed. Many of the Christians in the area, when they heard about St. David, rejoiced. And in fact, there was another man named Ignatius, who was also a Christian and happened to be there, who saw St. David being hanged, also decided that he would embrace martyrdom as well. However, it was not meant to be for him until uh, a number of years later, when in fact he too was hanged in the same place that St. David was. Again, 1813, not that long ago in the great span of time, certainly not in the Christian dispensation, but we see that even this late, we have many, many Christians willing to lay down their lives for Christ, to witness against the apostasy, especially that had overtaken the sacred land of Greece at that point. By St. David's prayers, may we also find the strength to live just normal Christian lives in our day and age, witnessing the truth of Christ and not letting any of the current disturbances that so affect us in all different directions upset that relationship. By his prayers, may we continue on to the kingdom of heaven. Bye-bye.